I had woke up one morning and I was supposed to go to work, but I decided to call out of work because it was the first summer day and I really wanted to, you know, just go to the park. There was this guy, I swear he had beans around him and everything. He was cute, but really he was handsome. I really wasn't the type that dated in high school, so I didn't know how to act. I kind of just was like, smile. That's all I could do was smile and he just smiled back and I was like, that's him. That's what I've been looking for. That's what I've been needing. And I knew immediately it was my soulmate. We always use protection up until one night. Um, we start talking and he start kissing and I start giggling and he was like, oh man, I don't have a condom. I had always used a condom, but it was just something about that day. He let me know he didn't have a condom, but he wasn't scared to move forward either. I felt privileged that he didn't want to use a condom because he knew that I could get pregnant. And I'm thinking, you know, he can see himself with me forever. It really just meant he trusted me and he loved me by not wanting to use the condom. And so to meet this older guy, I'm like, you just need to sit back and be quiet. And that's kind of what I did. Two weeks later, um, I wasn't feeling good at all. I was out on the front lawn walking and I passed out. And um, I don't remember much after that. I spent five days in ICU unconscious, not aware of anything, but, having, but I had been given a CT scan, an MRI, and a spinal tap. I had even been given a pregnancy test, and the doctor still did not know anything. I was actually told I had 24 hours to live if they didn't find out what was wrong. I was just sitting in my hospital room, and you know, it was a knock at the door. And the doctor said, you know, Marvelyn, I have something serious to tell you. And I'm like, okay, I'm pregnant. And he was like, no, you're not pregnant. And I'm thinking, what can it be? And he was like, you're HIV positive. I kind of just looked at him. I didn't know really what to think. I felt very empty because I didn't know anything about HIV. And the doctor was like, Marvin, I want you to know that you got this virus from sex. I was like, oh my God. This guy has given me HIV. I knew it at that moment. I wasn't promiscuous. I was in a monogamous relationship. I hadn't put myself at risk in any other way. If I never had been unconscious in the hospital, I never would have gotten tested. Even if I was in the hospital and conscious, the doctor would have asked me, you know, Marvelyn, um, is it okay if we test you for HIV? And I would have looked at them and said, why don't you save that test for someone who needs it? Because I don't need it. The most common misconception about HIV is that it has a look. That you can look at someone and tell they're HIV positive. His test results came back positive years before mine did. He's still sleeping with other women, not telling them because the females let him get away with it. Oh, they look at him because he still looks good years later living with the virus. You never know he has it, you know, quite like myself. And you know, they fall into the trap. I really had to look back and ask myself, okay, Marvin, if he would have told you he was HIV positive, would you had a dated him? I really don't know. If I think about it, without thinking of terms of me ever having HIV, I doubt it. That's why he didn't tell me. You never know. You know, you cannot put trust in someone else's hands when your life is at stake. And if that person, you know, doesn't want to be there because uh, they don't want to use protection, then you don't need that type of person in your life. If somebody really loves you and care about you, they'll protect you. And to love and care about yourself, you have to protect yourself as well. I always looked at HIV as it couldn't touch me, it couldn't happen to me. You know, I didn't care to learn about HIV. I didn't care about HIV until it happened to me.